I think that was a bad stoppage. Horrible stoppage. Round number six, he gets knocked down. Referee looks, looks in his eyes. He seems like he was coherent, but horrible stoppage. I'm sitting here eating popcorn, by the way. We need to see a, re, um, a replay. He's pissed. And the thing is, it could have been a close fight. And the thing is, it could have been a close fight. I'm interested to see what the what the scorecards are. Or were. Wow. Let me mute this. Um, Rancis Bartholomew got caught. Something short. It happened really, really fast. All in the span of about 15 seconds or so when he got hit with the punch in round number six. And Al Bernstein, the commentator, was talking about how, you know, round five was a pretty interesting round because it was a hard fight to score where you had um, Gary Antoine Russell as the, 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 the pressure fighter, power puncher, nothing really of too much technique, but you were wondering, let's see what punch he gets hit with. Okay, a leaping one right on the top of the head. Drops him. Okay, let me turn it up. Let's listen in. Referee comes in. And, but, here is where, now let's take a look. Bartolome, now yes, of course, he's getting up. And, he, you know, Lou Brock is getting up. He's, there he is. Let's take a look. He walks forward. Gives him his gloves. Shakes his head. And the fight gets stopped. Honestly, we're very loath to criticize referees, especially when they stop fights. It's hard wow. to imagine why that fight was stopped. Why did he stop that? Here's the punch. Now he got up, walked back to his corner. And I also was very disappointing. Round, very good so fight. One of the most exciting Bartel fights, arguably, of Rancis Barthelemy's career. Even though I predicted he was going to lose and I did kind of want him to lose, no fighter deserves to go through this bullshit. Now, look, he's walking back to the corner. Look, he's fine. Look, he's fine. Now he's going to turn around. No, 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 no. That was some bullshit. That was some real bullshit. That was some real bullshit right there. You know, um, damn, eat my popcorn. You know, here's the punch stats, by the way. 70 of 255 landed by Bartholomew. 92 of 261 landed by Gary Russell. Good body work by Rancis Bartholomew. Like overall, like he was looking sharp and crisp. And you can tell, you know, he didn't want to keep up with the pace of uh, Gary Antoine Russell. So he started slowing it down. By the way, it's no way that Gary Antoine Russell is, is uh, five foot ten. Both of these guys are listed at five foot ten on uh, Box Rec. I'm Tishri Controversy with Five View Three Sixty. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe. We cover every single major uh, fight live, you know, uncut. Um, it's not the fighters' fault. It's the referee bad call. Glad, glad to see the uh, fighters are showing each other um, respect, but that was disgraceful. Disgraceful stoppage for a fight where I really wanted to see how the second half of that was going to look. Remember, it was a six-round stoppage. Um, Both of these guys are trying to creep up into the 140-pound title contention. Now 16-0 and 0 with 16 KOs. You know, I understand fans are probably going to try to call for a rematch, but I highly doubt that they'll rematch that joint. You know, even though... But then again, I don't know. You know, I would want to see it again. You know? But I don't think they're going to do it. Either way, nice, solid scalps under the belt of um, 
Look, he's pissed. Of um, let's turn it up. Number six, our referee in charge stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Gary Antoine Russell. Looked to the heavens and said, we did it, Dad. Gary Antoine Russell bullshit. remains undefeated. 16 and 0, 16 knockouts showcase the power with that right hook. By the way, ain't nobody up in that joint. But this decision will be... In a lot terms of empty of seats. Let's listen to the post-fight interview. As to how competitive it was, but let's talk to the winner. Here's Jim Gray. All right, Moro, thank you very much. Ask the referee for a comment. He will not speak, and the New York State Athletic Commission had no comment at this time. They want to speak to Sade Mura, the referee, before they make any comment on this. We turn now to you, Gary. Congratulations on the victory. Did you feel the fight should be stopped? Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God. Uh, I want to tell my father up above his watching, I did it for you. We're going to keep it going, Pops. I want to thank Charlie for allowing this all to go down. I want to thank Showtime for putting on this, this show and let me participate in it. Um, as far as the fight go, I know Francis Bartholomew and myself, we are high grade class athletes and emotions got high. Whether you got bruises, hurting or not, you gonna have a gladiator spirit. So with that being said, I know he wanted to continue, but the doctor and the referee was doing their job. Um, if they would have let the fight continue, I'm pretty sure later on down the road or later in the rounds, the same outcome would have been, been there. Um, I just want to thank him as well for giving me the opportunity. Um, I'm gonna keep going. To the, to the forefront. I'm gonna keep going, that's what we're doing. The ultimate revenge is success, and that's what we're striving for. You just paid tribute to your father. This the first fight since his passing, uh, and obviously it's a, it's a very difficult time for you, your brothers, uh, and your family. Um, can you describe what it was like to not have his presence? Uh, it's the first of many. Um, it had me tunnel vision. It had me a little eerie, but I know I still had to get a job done. Um, something that my father instilled into all of us. No matter what going on in life, we got to continue. You know, um, certain things are just inevitable. Uh, life and death, those are two things that's definitely inevitable. Um, he raised us to be men, well-rounded men, thorough. I think being thorough means to be well-rounded. Um, he prepared us for not just boxing, but life outside of boxing. Um, and enduring these type of pain, this type of pain uh, is something that everybody got to go through, and not everybody are prepared for those type of pressure. Uh, he prepared us to go through these type of pain, trials, and tribulations. So I thank my father, I thank my family, and like I said, I did what I had to do. He did an excellent job. Let's take a look now as we make the transition back to the fight. And tell us from your vantage point what happened here in the sixth round to end the fight. Sixth round, I had him backing up. Southpaw, I knew he was going to try to look for his right cross, and I caught him backing up right on top. He was going to my hook hand. I shot my hook, heard him, put him down. As you can see right there, he's still kind of buzzed up. But the warrior mindset wanted him to keep going. He wanted to keep going because it's just his mentality. He's a warrior. Gary, congratulations. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Big Thank you. Thank you. Francis and Felix De Jesus will translate. And trainer Cuellar will join us as well. Did you feel the fight should be stopped? No, 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 caí en todo momento de que caí. Sí, me dio un buen golpe, me conectó un buen golpe, pero soy un veterano, no es primera vez que me han dado. Me han dado, me he levantado y he continuado el combate. This translator's trash, so he's not going to be able to. No, no, they shouldn't have stopped the fight. I mean, this is not the first time I've fallen and I've gotten up. I felt good. Just It was a good shot. I'm not denying that, but he should have not stopped the fight. What did you say to the referee, and what was his explanation to you? ¿Qué tú le dijiste al referee? ¿Cuál fue la, la explicación? Que estaba bien en todo momento, desde que me levanté, que estaba bien. Que, que estaba bien. Que estaba bien, y se lo dejé saber. Eh. Well, I, up, I told him I'm fine. I'm good to go. And Orlando, you exchanged words with him as well. You were very unhappy. I'm very unhappy, of course. This was a very good fight that these fans paid a lot of money to come and see. It was a pull-down, drag-out, old-school fight. How can you take it away from a man that's on his last leg? 
He's on his last leg. This man is a two-time world champion. He's been down before, and he's been up, and he's fought on. How can you rob not only the fighter, but the fans of what could have been a great fight? You're supposed to give your fighter, Gary Russell, you're supposed to let him fight. You want to see what kind of character Gary Russell or Gary Antoine Russell has? Well, this was a chance for Gary Antoine Russell to show that character. But you robbed not only Gary Antoine Russell because it was a gimme, but you also robbed the fans and and Russ has brought telling me we want I feel a rough. rematch with a different referee. You want to run it back? Your, your trainer does. Quiero una revancha? Sí, sí, una revancha, pero con diferente referee. Of course, but with a different referee. Yeah. Different referee. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Glad you're okay. All right. Thank you, Orlando. I think that's the type of fight where, okay, I will support a rematch. How do you guys feel? Is that that a rematch worthy fight? I think so with the way it ended because it was a close fight. Um, I want them to show, before we go, the cards and who was up. Um, the fight was stopped in round number six. Here we are. Look. Well, you see that uh, the judges agreed on four of the five rounds. The only round that all three gave Bartholomew was the fourth. And Russell was ahead three points on two of the cards. Take a look at my unofficial card. I gave Bartholomew the third and fourth rounds. I had See? Russell ahead by one point, but obviously the scoring nowhere near as controversial as the stopping. Very. It was a very, very close fight. You know, I had it three rounds to two for um, Gary and Twan Russell with that, you know, with a couple of close rounds, but it was a very, very close fight. I think it's cool. I think it's worth a rematch. And if it's not a rematch, then, you know, which way are they going to take? I won't be surprised if they do uh, Gary Antoine Russell versus the one of Albert, Alberto Puglio and um, Bakhtir Akhmedov, who's supposed to be fighting for that vacant WBA. Remember, the WBC is going to be contested between Zepeda and Ramirez. It's vacant. Um, the WBA is vacant, so Josh Taylor only has the IBF and the uh, WBO. And I, I think that probably, um, well, it's rumored that it's going to be Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall again, likely because uh, Josh Taylor can't travel because of his links, alleged links with um, MTK and the alleged uh, drug kingpin. But damn, that was a fucked up into that fight right there, right? Whatever, on to the next one. Adam Kwanowski versus um, Ali uh, Demarezin. I'm Teach Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Take your time out. Also, my podcast is going to be launching in less than two weeks on all of your uh, podcasting platforms. Um, and follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy. The links to my social media, which is under a link tree link, is down below in the description box. Thanks for watching.